everybody. This is Ray Dalio's All Weather Portfolio article by Tony Tran. And Ray Dalio is one of the best hedge fund managers the world has to offer. And he runs a hedge fund called Bridgewater Associates. Um, Ray Dalio is a, I would say, if we had to rank him, he's up there with Warren Buffett. Like and subscribe for more videos like this uh, and comment on anything that I may say on here that could help um, me understand a little bit more about investing when it comes to the pure alpha fund. Ray Dalio, he's like, I look at him in the same league as Warren Buffett. Now, is he a Warren Buffett? Of course not. Not in my eyes, but he is freaking close. Like, I mean, if I had to pick top investors, for sure, it's going to be Warren Buffett. I'm a Buffettite, um, but also you're going to have uh, Charlie Munger, you know, like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. They're like a duo. Uh, can't have one without the other. Uh, but then you have Ray Dalio. I have a couple of investors that I really like, but Ray Dalio, I've read his book called Principles. It's more like a principles for life and work. That's actually the title. Uh, but also he goes into his managerial style, which is for the work, but he also goes into his lifestyle, how he kind of produces life, which gives us insight on, okay, how this man thinks. And thinking, knowledge is, I would say, information is some of the best currency in the world. So I created the all-weather lifestyle because of the all-weather portfolio. This all-weather portfolio will literally give you a peace of mind in good times and bad times. Um, but the all-weather lifestyle should give you a peace of mind, good times and bad times in your life because financial education is so important when it comes to having a healthy life. How do we get there? We get there through um, investing. Uh, it can be stock market. It can be crypto. It can be real estate. Anything that brings you um, profits, I would say, uh, in a legal way, profits that are going to allow you to uh, grow your nest egg long term. So Ray Dalio, all weather portfolio is supposed to be able to weather any economic season. Find out how to build your own all weather portfolio and automate your investment so you can Protect yourself against worst-case scenarios. All Weather Portfolio is a diversified asset mix introduced by hedge fund manager Ray Dalio, popularized in Tony Robbins' book, Money Master the Game, Seven Simple Steps to Financial Freedom. I need to read that book. I like Tony Robbins. Okay, so this portfolio, uh, the all-weather portfolio, is actually, um, he has it broken down into these segments. So, commodities 7.5, gold 7.5, uh, intermediate-term bonds 15%, long-term bonds 40%, and stocks 30%. I will be leaving a link in the description below so you guys can check out this article and read more about this. I'm going to be hitting most of the um, headers. Who created the all-weather portfolio? The all-weather portfolio is the brainchild of hedge fund manager Ray Dalio. Dalio is the founder of Bridgewater Associates, the world's biggest hedge fund, according to Forbes. The fund is also... Famous for its flagship Pure Alpha Fund, a fund that holds nearly $40 billion. Uh, leave a comment below on Pure Alpha Fund if you know what's actually in that fund. I've been looking for years what's in that fund. I do not know. I know what's in the all-weather portfolio because I use an app called iBillionaire. And you can look at the billionaire's um Stock portfolios, what assets they're holding, you know, everything that's on the 10Ks, 10Qs, things like that. They have to report to the government. But I don't know what's in that fund right there exactly. The allocation, what exactly stocks. I think they're using um, algorithms, microtransactions, and they have um, things that kind of mirror the all-weather portfolio. But they're not giving us the exact 
uh, quality because a pure alpha fund, I believe you have to have like a couple hundred thousand, maybe even a million dollars to even uh, participate in this fund. And the returns are, oh my God, the returns are a lot. So this is what the New Yorker says. In 2007, Dalio predicted that the housing and lending boom would end badly. Later that year, he warned the Bush administration that many of the world's largest banks were on the verge of insolvency. In 2008, a disastrous year for many of Bridgewater's rivals, the firm flagship Pure Alpha Fund rose in value by 9.5%. After accounting for fees, last year the Pure Alpha Fund rose 45%, the highest return of any big hedge fund. I just want you all to think about in 2008 when this fund, the Pure Alpha Fund, rose 9.5%. I believe the S&P 500, which I use as a benchmark, and most people do, um, as a benchmark to see if you're alpha or not. Alpha is going to be, are you doing better than a market or are you average as the market or are you doing worse than a market? Um, this, the, the, you, the S&P 500, I believe went down, I want to say negative 30%. It probably went down negative 30% or even more, right? This fund rose positive 9.5. So if you think about if you had your funds in the S&P 500 and you went down 30% uh, percent that year, right? This fund rose 9%. That means this fund went up probably above 40% if you had your money in it, above the average. Like you've made, you almost got to count that negative as, okay, if I have my money in here, I would actually be up a lot more because of um, I actually made money. These guys, the stock market overall last year, uh, 2019, I believe it went up like 15 to 20%. Um, th his fund went up 45%. That means he, he's obviously alpha. I mean, it's in his name, pure alpha, uh, fund. It is dominating. Okay. It kind of goes into a little bit of the history of Ray Dalio before all that, though, he had a relatively modest upbringing. The son of a working class Italian American family, Dalio worked as a golf caddy when he was young, earning tips from his wealthy clientele. After a brief stint on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, he created Bridgewater Associates in 1975 out of his Manhattan apartment. You know, most of these ultra rich uh, people, uh, I, I'm seeing like a lot of them create things like out of their apartment, out of their dorm room, out of their garage. I'm thinking about Steve Jobs there. Uh, that is pretty awesome uh, that people are able to do that um, and create things that are so, so massive. More than three decades later, its growth to a massive success hedge fund firm that manages over $160 billion in assets. Rule of thumb, if you can make 10% on your money per year, compound interest per year, in seven years, you will have, in about seven to seven and a half years, you'll double your money. So you'll get 100% gain. He's made he made forty five percent last year. Another rule of thumb: if you can make twenty percent of your money compound each year, you will get a double in about three to three to three and a half years. You'll get a hundred percent gain. He made forty five percent. The math on that is probably what two and a half years or two point three months. Um, two two years and three months or something like that to double your money. I'm not saying he's going to be doubling his money like that, but I am saying that this fund could be a trillion dollar fund in the next 20 years. If it keeps going 25 years, I mean, that is insane. Okay. What is in the all weather portfolio? 
the asset allocation of the portfolio breakdown is like this. You're going to have 40% long-term bonds, 30% stocks, 15% intermediate term bonds, 7.5% gold, 7.5% commodities. This is the breakdown. I will leave the link in the description below. Okay, the reason he chose those assets goes into his theory of economic seasons. According to Dalio, there are four things that affect the value of assets. Inflation, deflation, rising economic growth, declining economic growth. Okay, based on these elements, Dalio says that we can then expect four different seasons that the, econ that the economy can go through. They are higher than expected inflation, lower than expected inflation, higher than expected economic growth, lower than expected economic growth. You know, sometimes I wonder why the Fed, the Federal Reserve, does not kind of consult uh, with a lot of these ultra rich uh, people that have proven records and know what they're doing. I do know that the Fed uh, will call like Dalio or Buffett, you know, on, hey, you know, hey, what do you think about these things? And I, I really do appreciate that um, because a lot of these guys know exactly what they're doing, but the Fed doesn't measure things. Dalio's giving us a breakdown of what he thinks, and I know he has some things in the background that he's not telling us proprietary information, obviously, but the Fed doesn't really tell us anything how they're valuing the economy other than we can all expect um, how oil is doing. Uh, they're probably looking at that. They're probably looking at job growth. They're probably looking at unemployment, you know, things like that, but, um, you know, there's probably other things that they could be looking at. And um, maybe they should ask some of these people if they're not. Uh, if you know that they are asking them, leave me a comment below and let me know if you've heard of anything anything else other than what I just mentioned on how the Fed, the Federal Reserve, is uh, looking at the economy and how they're figuring out, hey, are we in a recession or not? Um, how has the Always Portfolio done in the past? Okay, whoa. Uh, back testing the all weather portfolio reveals that it does generally live. It does generally live up to its name. The strategy Dalio shares has produced just under ten percent annual and made money more than eighty percent of the time in the past in the last thirty years. That's between nineteen eighty four and. 2013 Robbins wrote that's what Robbins wrote um let's see what else okay for a few more comparisons when back testing during the Great Depression the all weather portfolio was shown to have lost just 20% while the SP 500 lost 64 percent whoa that's almost 60 percent better than sp 500 so that's you know obviously seeking alpha um the average loss from 1928 to 2013 for the sp 500 was 13 percent that the all weather portfolio is 3.65 percent in years when the sp suffered some of its worst years is drop, worst drops 1973 and 2002 the old world portfolio actually made money so uh 1973 i think it was like a recession back then um probably dealing with oil if i remember right uh and then in 2002 we all know that's the great dot-com bust 2008 is the great recession um so we have things like that uh 1928 is the great depression so all these things, they're kind of back testing to see what they would have done. How do I build an all weather portfolio? If you want to build an all weather portfolio, but do not know where to start, don't worry. Here's a suggestion for comparison, comparable securities that can invest in yourself. 
Uh, this is from the NASDAQ. Now, I'm not condoning anybody build this portfolio. I'm just wanting to review the article and just tell you kind of how much I like uh, Ray Dalio. Uh, I think the all-weather portfolio should be a portion. The total portfolio should be a portion of your main portfolio. Um, it's an all-weathers. Because you're going to want to add in some cryptos. You're probably going to want to add in some real estate. You're probably going to want to add in the S&P 500, you know, for crying out loud, like into your 401k. But they're saying that if you add in 30% Vanguard total stock market ETF, 40% iShares 20 plus year treasury, those are bonds, 15% share iShares 7 to 10 year treasury bonds, uh, 7.5 uh, Spiders gold shares that's an etf uh 7.5 power shares db commodities index tracking fund they're saying this right here will get you pretty much the all weather uh portfolio uh like dalio now remember that the pure alpha fund is the one that's dalio's making and i believe that the all weather is supposed to kind of mirror that and now they're saying that this right here mirrors the all weather. So you got a mirror of a mirror, right? Um, and then you have to, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to reallocate uh, these things because something's going to be growing and you have to trim uh, some and then reinvest others. So I don't know what the allocation rate will be. Would it be um, quarterly? Would it be yearly? I guess that's going to be something you're going to have to kind of think about yourself. Or you can just set it and maybe forget it. This is just a small portion of your total portfolio. Total portfolio being uh, you may have stocks, you may have those are paper, uh, you may have crypto, you may have real estate, you may have precious metals. So you may have all three asset classes, paper, uh, precious metals, real estate, all in your portfolio and your all weather portfolio um, mirror will probably be a portion of your paper assets. Paper assets, many stocks, bonds, mutual funds, things like that. ETFs. Okay, that's all. Um, like, subscribe, and I'll be doing other videos.